I'm gonna show you the most passive and most effective and efficient blitz in Madden 24. It comes to us out of the dollar three two. Now, if you're watching this video and you wanna get my entire dollar defensive ebook, I'm gonna put a link to that down in the description. You can get at by joining the Patreon for just 10 bucks. You'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 24 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all the updates to those ebooks. As long as your membership is active, we already dropped 12 Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, and we're dropping more later tonight. So make sure you're in the Patreon to get access to that, as well as all the updates. The play is really any play out of dollar, but we're going to be focusing in on cover to man because cover to man is the best stock defense in the game. All right. So literally all you're going to do, the only setup for this is to contain. So you're going to hit R1 twice. You're going to slide this guy out and then you're going to click on to this safety and user him right in about here. And what you'll see is you will get these loops off of the edge. Now, if it ever, for whatever reason, does that, typically what I, the only thing you'll need to do um, to fix this is just blitz your user. So if you ever like kind of weirds out like that, just simply blitz your user and pass commit and the blitz, the loop should come in, as you can see right there. Another thing that is like a super underrated factor in this blitzing defense is the um, speed or the agility of your defensive end so make sure that you if you're in mutt doing this you want to get the fastest defensive end possible but as you see this super passive pressure but really effective pressure is pretty consistent out of dollar again if you want to shift your linebackers you certainly can do that as well i like that too because it puts the middle linebacker in a better position against any kind of three by one set and you'll see the loop is super consistent i find that the loop is probably the most consistent out of the dollar three two. Now you might be asking, okay, Cody, well, what happens if they block a running back on this blitz? All you're gonna do is you're gonna hold left trigger with your user and you're just gonna turn inside. And what it does is it kind of dumbs that running back out. And so that passive pressure can still kind of loop around on that right side. Now, if they block a tight end to try to block this blitz, they typically are not going to be able to block this blitz by blocking a tight end. So that's just an FYI, because oftentimes the tight end is on the opposite side. You want to, generally speaking, loop off of the side that is the running back side. You don't really want to be looping off of a tight end side. Now, if you're playing like an A slot, then you can run a different defense like dollar DB fire, which we also break down in the dollar ebook. But like I said, this is a very good loop blitz. I think that was like the second time in about seven or eight tries that it didn't come in. And in practice mode this year, there is a lot of like, not necessarily bugs, but inconsistencies just in terms of how these blitzes work. Again, you're just shifting. You don't have to shift your linebackers, but I just think it puts this guy in a better position. And then you're just stacking the linebacker containing. And that right there is an absolute incredible blitz. Now, you can do whatever you want from a coverage perspective. Another thing that is underrated about dollar is, especially against like a bunch, is if you blitz this slot cornerback on this right side, you'll see he's already in a contain. So you can try to get some, you know, double loop style pressures where you're going to use with the running back yourself if he does go out on a route. And as you can see, we're getting double edge pressure with this concept. Guys, the dollar defense is back. It's a little different than last year. Um, if you want to get my entire ebook on this, it shows you not just this loop blitz, but it also shows you um, how to adjust, how to stop the run, how to stop the most popular formations uh, in this against that people will do. And also it shows you different blitzes for different situations. So if they're blocking a running back or if they're blocking a tight end or if they're using play action blocking or if they're um, running two tight end sets, right? We show you all that stuff, how to get these blitzes to be super consistent in the Patreon. But guys, thanks for watching the video. I think this dollar loop is really, really, really good right now. And again, just quickly, here's the setup. All you're going to do is hit R1 twice. I like to shift my linebackers. And then you're just going to basically stack this guy on the outside of the defensive end. I like to get about down in here. And as you can see, that loop kind of swaps off. And then that guy is going to fight for you off of the edge. Now, it will be a little bit more consistent the faster the player is at that position. But by and large, that is the blitz concept. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you want to get my entire $1.32 defensive ebook, just join the Patreon at the link down in the description below.